it's Sunday, but I'm trying not to take any days off because, you know, you get better results if you take less days off. It's Sunday night, two o'clock, it's time to do cardio. I've got to do about an hour of that. Um, probably the 40 minutes again and then get into um, chest, shoulders and triceps. Let's do it. I really like coming to the gym in the middle of the night because you know, there's no one around. And um, it gives me time to process the day and deal with things that maybe I wouldn't get to deal with at home. Because, you know, when you're at home and you've got nine kids, you tend to put all your focus and all your energy into them. And, um, you know, I know people say, oh, having, uh, nine, having kids is hard. But I don't think it's hard. I just think you have hard moments. Because some moments you have are really, really nice. And other moments you have are, like, just fucking chaotic. But at the end of the day, I really like watching them grow into the people they're going to be for the rest of their lives. And it's enjoyable to see that so and, and that's part of the reason why i do what i do is because i want to be a certain standard for them so they can aim for bigger and better things as they get older because there's nothing worse than having everyone around you hold themselves at such a low standard and they live their entire life by that and it, it, it just sucks, it just sucks. So I want better and I want them to have better. So that's why I do what I do. Sometimes though, you gotta be a bit, as a, as a dad, you've gotta be a bit strict, a bit harsh and they, they don't like that. But who likes that shit? You know, it was only when I got into my, well, what, what my thirties that I started to become more disciplined and more focused on things. So I don't even hold them at that standard. It's so unrealistic. You've got all these families out there that are like, oh, my child needs to be a doctor or, or my child needs to get straight A's or, or whatever. But at the end of the day, right, it doesn't really matter because like we, we all die. So, you know, what? Would you rather have them, them have spent all their time getting some degree and some bullshit that's going to make them miserable and probably make them have a heart attack from the stress of something they just don't care about when they're older? Or do you want them to enjoy life and do you want to enjoy life with them? I think people really lose that concept. sucked but it was good so it was good suffering the next thing I've got to do is dips just get my bearings again that was good that was good So this is dips at 91 kilo counterweight. So it's like 30 kilos roughly.
So that's 10. Got another 90 to go. So there is some muscle there, which is good. Usually I do a hundred, but I did not count on how much that cardio was going to slap me around. So I'm pretty wrecked right now, sweating all over the place. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm still sweating. Um, uh, yeah, it's crazy. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do the fifties, uh, 50 of the dips just then, cause it does all your shits. And it warms you up really, really nice while it does that to me. And now I'm going to do the chest. I'm going to open the chest up by doing flies and probably move on to either triceps or shoulders. Let's do this. I'm going to start on the 50 kilos, see how I go, see if I can even lift this shit. Let's go. You want to make sure it's aligned properly, yep. Too, too high, actually. Let's get hardcore. I'm at 64 kilos. I don't even know if I can lift this shit. So let's go. Let's do it. No way. Fifty-seven kilos. Failure is okay, it's all part of the process. You've got to get your ass kicked, You've got to be humble, you know, don't be a dick. There was one stage when I was training years ago that some guy come up to me and he goes, hey man, hey, you want, you want, you want to juice up? And for those of you that don't know, juicing up is steroids, essentially. And I'm like, what? No, fuck that, because Here's the thing about steroids, is they make your internal organs grow and shit, besides shrinking your dick, but you know, who wants that? They also make your internal organs grow, that's why everyone, like all the bodybuilders that are on it, they're all bloated and all big, and, because their internal organs are fu and they're like, that can't be good for your health. Like how many bodybuilders, full blown bodybuilders do you see live past 100? Not many, right? So, 
Yeah, not my idea of fun. Getting out 50 kilos. Mind you though, this is a lot easier than let's say I was just lying on the bench trying to do it. But the thing is I'm building up my strength. So if I can pick up the whole stack, I'll be able to pick up significant weight when I move across to it. I just don't have the stamina or the endurance because I'm all fat and shit, you know, and I know I say that a lot, but it's true. And the other day I just felt really bogged down physically and I couldn't figure it out, but I know exactly what it is. When you get bigger, everything's harder, like moving's harder, it burns more calories to move when you're when you're a bigger person. So, you know, but you gotta do it because What's the alternative? Not being able to get up and open the fridge even that? Nah. No, nah. No way. No way. You know, and I'm saying that purely from my point of view. I don't want that. That is not the fate I want for myself. There was a philosopher who said, it's a shame for a man to grow old without knowing the beauty and strength for which his body is capable. And ever since I heard that, it really, really stuck with me because it doesn't matter how strong I get, it doesn't matter how uh, quick I get or anything like that, I could always be stronger, I could always be quicker, I could always look better. So. It would be a remarkable thing to see the actual top, top of what I would be capable of doing. But you know what, I'd just settle for a Hollywood body right now, you know. Brad Pitt, move over, bro. I think the build I'd most like, that was probably Andy Cavill. Yeah, that's a good build. That's a good build. Who knows? Maybe maybe we'll be in a movie together in the future. That'd be cool, right? That'd be really cool. If they reboot the DC universe, that'd be pretty cool too. I hope they do it right this time. Like seriously. Marvel too. I think that'd be really, really cool to be in a Marvel or even a Disney film, like one of the greatest moments of my life, not gonna lie, is when The Rock sung in Moana. It like blew me away because I've been a big WWE fan for a very, very long time. And it just, it was one of those pinnacle moments in your life where you're like, yeah, I can die now. I can die happy. Cause it was just, it was so good. And now they're making a live action or I'm not sure if that's gonna be any good, but I guess we'll have to find out. Still on 50 kilos, so I've done, I think I've done 20. My memory could be shot, but the 30 left. good though. I'm glad you're watching. Because you put me in my place, you know, you made me go, shit, someone's watching and I've got to train harder. I've got to pick up more weight. I never believed when people used to tell me that, uh, you know, you could train by yourself but you never train as hard. And I thought, no, no, that, that can't be true. Surely, surely you can train as hard as you would around other people. But I did it, I did it for years and look, look where I ended up. So, you know, and the other problem I had was I got too comfortable with life. You know, I've got an amazing wife, I've got nine kids, I, you know, in my house I don't have to worry about that. And, and it's not because I'm rich by the way, I'm poor as shit, but, well not poor, broke, I'm broke. Um, but I'd, I'd pretty much one life. 
And because I'd won life, I got complacent. And because I got complacent, I, um, I let myself down. And the only thing to do from here is um, get better. It's an uphill battle, but brought it on myself, didn't I? Okay, I've brought it down to 43 kilos for the last 20. I'm going to try to knock out the 20 all in one go, but yeah, good luck. Here we go. Always pushing it. Lift as much as you can, as often as you can. One of the best people I've ever known told me that, so I better do it. I've got nine left. I'm not going to make it if I do it at this weight. So now I'm at 36. It should be easy. Should be. And we're done for that. Okay, I'm doing triceps now. I'm going to be doing the tricep pull down. I hate doing it with the rope. I feel like my, my elbows or some shit like that is going to pull. So I always do it with the straight bar. And the weight is unknown because it's worn out. But it's over 21.8 kilos. So let's... It's roughly about 30 kilos, I think, right now, which means I'm probably not going to be able to pick it up. Let's see. Yeah, no. Nah. Okay. So this is 21.8 kilos. too heavy, I always find the best thing to do is try and get at least five because then you're building your strength. When you get over five, you get into like, you know, looking better and stuff like that. But if you can do five, it's usually wrapped around increasing your strength, you know? This is 16.3. Let's see how we go. Okay, yeah. so my triceps are blown out, but that's that's all right because I've done all that other shit before this, so we're good. This is ten point nine.
don't have to get creative with my cardio because usually the thing that lets me down with cardio <coughs> is I build up a resistance to it relatively fast. Um, you know, and everyone should, but when you build up a resistance to it, I just don't feel like I'm doing anything. So I'm sure I can come up with some creative ways to do it. Maybe get my AI to help me out with it. It's usually pretty smart when it comes to this, but terrible writing jokes like, oh my god. Like it writes really bad dad jokes, not on purpose. And the jokes are like really, really lame. Like, why did the chicken cross the road to avoid KFC? And I'm just like, oh my god, you're actually hurting me. And the AI goes, oh, I apologise, I'm not designed to hurt you. Or am I? That's so stupid. <laughs> it's funny All right, I'm going to finish off with some shrugs. I'm going to try and go heavy, and then because I cannot be bothered doing, you know, anything else. So here we go. These are 18 kilos a piece. Let's go. What I do sometimes is because it gets harder to do like a basic exercise first. Like let's say like today I'm doing chest, triceps, and shoulders. Uh, because I'm I've already done the dips as well. I get weaker with each one progressively. So what I try and do is swap it up. So one week I always sort of do dips first, but then the next time I do it. I might, instead of doing chest first, I might do triceps first. Or instead of doing triceps first, I might do shoulders first. That way I can sort of give myself a more even strength or a more even growth rate. These are 10 kilos. Stretching. Okay, so what did I want to do? Chest. Okay. I like this one for chest. You're leaning on something. I like this one for chest. Stretch. You just, and you'll feel the pull there. Again, you've got to put your mind on the muscle. Okay, so there's chest, and you've got triceps, 
your fat sheet you don't want to show you like that that's why I get extra on tops because there's nothing worse than being in the gym like a bowl of jelly and your shirt grows up and you're like Ugh, gross right so what you do you get long shirts for starters or you get like a, a jumper and wrap her in yourself but you do this that way when if it exposes your stomach it's not there for running the gym and what I'm doing is I'm resting that there so I can stretch my chair. At this side. And again. And shoulders. You've always got to stretch for mobility and shit like that because the, the one thing you don't want is to get old and just be not able to move properly. That is nightmare fuel. And as always, we finish up with the Kung Fu stretch. Just put your feet together and like, try and keep your back straight. You don't have to. But it's all about moving towards your feet. I used to be able to touch my feet with my nose. Start now, but... And the other one is you put pressure here. So you feel the pressure in your legs. That's a good one. Now we touch toes. If you can, playing games. So you just loosen up, you hit the bit. Just a couple more and then we're done. We're all good. A lot of losing fat is about the psychology behind it as to why why you want to eat so much or, or whatever. Well, I find for me, it's about why I enjoy food so much. Like you hear stories of um, that personal trainer who gained all that body weight, all that fat, and then lost it in three months. Yeah, but you don't understand the taste of a chocolate cake then, obviously, do you? Like, honestly, I don't even really like chocolate. I'm more of a McDonald's savory type guy, but the reality is, like, hamburgers are fucking delicious. Like, what? Oh, I'm a personal trainer. I'll gain the weight and I'll lose it. Yeah, yeah congratulations. Okay.